wait, 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 wait! Oh no! Crap! Hey guys! Scoobs is back on Subnautica. Hey, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, mainly this video is for the easiest way to freaking find the uh, crown coral. Okay, it's the second most rarest uh, gl growing plant in the game uh, apart from the tree of life. So, and we know there's only one of that. So, check it out guys. Thank you, computer face lady. Okay, if we come up here, you know where my base is. This is my base that I have right above the Grand Reef. It's right by this thermal vent right here. Everybody knows where I start with. Okay, if you head over here towards the island, you have the island, the Aurora's right up here. And you head down to right below the Aurora to where the mushroom forests are. If you just head down there, you're gonna find the Kush biome. The Kush biome is the only place outside of the final chamber where the Sea Empress is. And there is a crown coral in there that's easy to find. It's in just one of the four corners. You can just, it's a piece of cake to find. So unless you want to ahead of time, Let's see here, am I still heading in the right direction? A little close to the Aurora. Just head down, first all you do is just head down to that mushroom biome. Everybody knows where that stinking thing is. Everybody does, and if you don't, you really haven't played this game enough. <laughs> so head on down, and unless they move this, but they haven't in the last, well, several updates, it's always been in the same place. So, islands there. Aurora's there. Just keep heading straight down. And it looks like I'm here. Here's the mushroom biome. Just head straight on, skirt right along its edge. And you'll find an area that I call like the mushroom chute. What the heck, we'll call it that. There's an open area between two portions of this biome. And this is it right here. Looks like a corridor so to speak without any of these mushroom trees in it head straight on down here when you get past it right at this point you will see this little ridge that shoots off to the left here a little bit just follow it and you'll run smack dab into the crash site there it is here is the aurora chunk that's in the kush biome now, once you get to this point, look at the way it's situated. Where you enter it is right there, correct? Okay, now that you're actually lined up with this, it's a lot easier during the day. Okay, buddy, you're pissing me off. There you go. Okay, you just go right away from where you enter it, okay? Just head straight out this way. Son of a... I did it again, guys. Crap. Okay, let's go ahead and hop out. Make sure you have your freaking upgrade. <laughs> it's a little freaking deep. Might as well repair it while we're at it. Okay. Once again, we're back. Right here's the wreck. <laughs> okay, you, you freaking brick, you better run away. Turn away from it and just head straight away from the wreck. Right up over this little edge here, you will find Escape Pod 12. It's right there. Right here. You'll see this thermal spout. You see Escape Pod 12. You might even be lucky and have this on your, uh, your beacons as something to take a look at. It is literally right on the other side of this. Line those two things up and go right through. There it is, right there. How simple was that? Extreme, get out of here. You know, if I do you twice, you die, so get out of here. Okay, there it is, bingo. There's usually two of them right side by side. I already harvested one, but I left this guy specifically for this video. The other one, of course, is going to be 
inside that chamber, but you have to pretty much finish the game to be able to get to it. I'll go ahead and head over there right now just so you can see it. But it's uh, those are the only two places you will find it in this entire game, at this point anyways. But that's the easiest way to find it. Find the wreck, straight off of the wreck, is Life Pod 12. Just line up Life Pod 12 with that thermal vent, and it's right on the other side of it. Easy, completely easy. So, anyways, the other one is going to be at the very end of the game. You got to make your way clear down to the lava biome, get to the prison, uh, and have her activate that uh, warp gate. I suppose is the best uh, thing I, I can think of calling it at this point. And we'll be there in just a second. 260 meters. I built a base. Actually, this is a great little base. I built a... When you play this, I always build a little base over here. So it's easy to come tearing out, make the enzyme, and go back in. And of course, I build it inside this. I was kind of surprised that I did finally figure out you can actually build a base inside that moon poodle for your cyclops but right here let's go ahead and head in so I'll show you exactly where the one is in here it's kind of ooh, there's those blobs of goo that can cure you the enzyme so and that's the other thing even though I'm going 1587 meters deep it doesn't hurt your sea moth simple enough and I do believe Oh, sorry to see you're dead. Okay, it's it's not back in that one. Is it up here? I think it's actually right up here. If not, I'll find it. Mm, yep, right there. There it is, guys. That's it. So, you can find these are the only two places you will find it in the entire game. Easy. Go get it. Finish this game. All right, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, sorry. Anyways, guys, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video, even though I can't see you. All right, guys. Love you. Each and every freaking one of you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.